What's up everybody? Cliff Caesar here or CJ Bates if you found me on Instagram. I am going to show you a little trick. A little trick for bait making um, and painting. This is something that uh, I haven't seen done but has been extremely useful for me. So a lot of the times I find myself getting baits, um, crank baits, jerk baits, things that are you know cheaply painted or things that you can get for maybe like three or four dollars at Cabela's or Shields or any of your local pro shops um, and you just want to redo them but you don't necessarily want to deal with the eyes or if you like the eyes and you want to keep them on there so what you need to do is invest and I'm talking about invest into some play-doh so play-doh what it does and I'll show you on a blank that I've got here right now. Um, this particular one I've got painted completely red. That's my base coat on this. I wanted to keep the eyes. So, stick the Play-Doh in there. Nice and simple. And it covers up that whole eyelet. It doesn't have any, basically any marks whatsoever. So, kind of walk you through it real quick. Pretty simple process. You're going to need to size of about this little bit, okay? You're just gonna take that crankbait you want, those eyes that you wanna preserve, mold it in there, push it around the edges. Helps to have some fingernails, that's for sure. You're all set. Do that on both sides. I'll do the other side just quick. Mold it in there. And you're gonna catch it from the front there. But this is deadly. All it does is prevent any paint from going in those eye sockets. You can use this in all honesty to mold parts to your bait, patterns to your bait. Got this for 55 cents. It's a done deal, it's a steal. So check it out. Check my page out, my Instagram, CJ Bates. Um, I got a bunch of lures, new things I'm coming out with, pushing out. Got a brand new spoon I just finished up. But uh, please, if you found this useful, hit that subscribe button below. Um, everything is very, very helpful. Any comments? I'm new to this. I've only been painting for about six months or so. So any tips or tricks that you guys have for me, that's huge. So thank you. Hit that like button, subscribe come out with new content about every week here. So take care.